The government would be very unwise to ignore conservative rebels on Huawei. Even if Downing Street wins today's key vote, David Davis has warned. Speaking just hours before MPs debated an amendment designed to force the government's hand on 5G, banning it from using high risk vendors after 31 December 2022, the former Brexit secretary urged ministers to pay heed to the number and type of names concerned about the Chinese firm's involvement. So far, 26 MPs have gone public including former Deputy Prime Minister Damien Green, Foreign Affairs Select Committee Chair Tom Tugent had alongside prominent ERG members Mark Francois and Owen Patterson. Ian Duncan Smith, who led Boris Johnson's campaign to become Tory leader, and other supporters of the current Prime Minister are also on the list. Amendment on hashtag Huawei selected. Looking forward to the debate this afternoon. Hashtag telecoms hashtag 5G hashtag debate pick twitter dot com slash Julie one LG seven Bob Seeley MP at IO Bob Seeley March 10th 2020 Davis this morning told City AM our ideal is to strike a deal with the government to find a timetabled route to zero that is what we are after hopefully we will get it but he cautioned that rebels were not expecting to be successful during today's debate which is not even about Huawei but providing broadband to flats. This, amendment, was never anything more than emblematic, he said. It's just to make our point. If government refuses to make concessions at this, he warned further pressure would be applied by going shopping among other backbenchers to present a much more robust game. We've not done the kind of campaigning you would do if you wanted to a, quote, rebellion. We have taken the view that this early in a government's life you would prefer to avoid it. Davis said yesterday's GCHQ briefing, designed to win MPs over, had resulted in further would-be rebels who felt it had been patronizing. It would be very unwise to ignore the movement, he added. Conversations have been taking place between the rebels and ministers including Culture Secretary Oliver Dowden and his junior Matt Warman, as well as Chief Whip Mark Spencer. One conservative MP who is not in the rebel group told City AM the government was likely to be embarrassed, if not defeated. They've been in conversations all afternoon with the chief, he said. Clearly they've got enough numbers that the chief whip is worried, because he doesn't get involved for nothing. One ECMS source told City AM there had been movement on both sides but cautioned that the introduction of a hard and fast deadline was unlikely despite constructive discussions. For more on this story, visit the news article link.